I only do in-depth product reviews like this when I am super excited about a particular product or an app or a service or whatever. And today I wanna to talk about Beamer because I am indeed quite excited. So what is Beamer? Um, Beamer is basically an announcement bar that pops up on your website to let people know what's new, what's going on, and really showcase the best stuff that you've got at any given moment, if you're launching, whatever. Now, this is great for really anybody who has a website, but what I wanna talk about is why this is particularly good for people with membership sites. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at Beamer in action. So here we are on my outward facing website for my membership site, okay? So essentially this is a sales page. So if people are interested in joining my membership site, I send them over to frontrowvip.com. They see this really cool announcement bar over here on the right. And it's very eye-catching and basically it's showing announcements. It's like all these great things that are happening. This gives me an opportunity to showcase things that are happening inside, inside the membership site to get people who aren't yet in the membership site excited. But what I can also do is show this to people who are already, who are on the other side, who are already members. So now we're inside the membership site and as you can see, there people can see announcements here as well. So if you have a membership site, you know that one of the biggest uh, challenges that we face is churn. So people stay for about three months is supposedly the average and then they leave. The key to keeping people there is to keep them engaged, to keep them excited. And if there's always something sort of coming down the pike, then people will stay excited. Okay, so let's let's get a little closer. Let's zoom in a little more on this menu bar or this announcement bar. So you're gonna notice right up at the top, it, it says announcement. And then if we scroll a little more, this one says new. And if we go a little further, this one says coming soon. All those are customizable, which I'm gonna show you when we take a look at the back end of things. Uh, but I also wanna show you this. So people have the opportunity to leave feedback. So it'd be, they don't like something, they're kind of neutral or they like it, their smiley face. And they can also type in feedback. Now that let's go look at the back end of things. On the home page in Beamer, we can see the whole feed, all the posts that I have created. And if I wanna create a new post, uh, I'll come over here and hit the red button. And it's very similar to a blog post. This is a test. And then I'll start typing some text. And then I'm gonna click the plus button again and I could enter, I could put in an image. Okay, so I've put that image in there. If I don't want it to be super big. I can click these little squares and make it smaller can put in a link and if you look right up here this is where you choose the category and these are also customizable which i'm going to show you in just a moment so now let's look at some of these other choices you'll see here it says segment filters what is so amazing about this is that you are able to show your announcement to people who for example uh, are already members who are not members who are customers who are not customers you could segment them a variety of different ways you could show certain members sh certain announcements and other people other announcements some people won't see the announcement bar at all the choices are really endless but the thing with the segmenting is that it comes with the top plan, the pro plan, uh, but it's a little bit advanced in that you need to add script to your website. And I haven't gotten that far with the, with the app yet, but I just wanted you to know that that was a really robust offering, a robust feature from Beamer that you might want to take advantage of. Next, I've got all the bars toggled to enable comments, enable reactions, send push notifications, which I'm gonna show you in a moment, auto open the sidebar, open links in a new tab and enable social media sharing. Auto open the sidebar means exactly that. So the sidebar that we looked at will auto open for people who are coming for the first time. And if they've seen the announcement, it will collapse into a little bell, which I will show you in just a moment. The next thing that I wanna show you is that you see this post when we were over on our announce when we were looking at the announcement bar you don't see that gif over here right that's because i have this scheduled 
to post two days from now. So you can add a bunch of posts as they correlate with your content, your activities, the things that you have going on in your membership site and schedule them out in advance. So I love that. Also, uh, when I added this GIF, I just did that by adding the image option and then I uploaded the GIF. Now we're gonna go to settings. And we're gonna we're gonna walk through this. This top part's pretty obvious. When you look here at standalone page, you'll notice that I have a custom domain that comes with the pro option. Uh, so if I click this little button, you'll see that this becomes like its own little blog, its own little website that I could share wherever. Um, now you could do that without a custom domain. It's just gonna have the Beamer, it'll have some long Beamer link. But you know what? You could use the Beamer link and turn it into a bit.ly and probably be fine. I just like the, I like having a custom domain. Then I have all these toggled and turned on. And next we're going to look over here at user. That's where your password information is, your email address. And then of course I want to receive a daily feedback summary and a weekly analytics summary. Daily for now, since it's new, I want to really be tracking this. Uh, you can add people as administrators, managers, writers, designers, or read only, and you just invite them by typing their email address. Languages. This is where you could set your, uh, you could set this to have a translation op um, option if you would like, like if you serve two languages, if your audience speaks two languages, but also this is where you would customize any other language or words on the website, whether that's uh, words that is, you know, your category options, or even if you look at the very top of this, it says what's new in Front Row VIP. It defaulted to what's new on. So I made sure and changed on to in, in that language. So right here, it says what's new in. Now we're gonna click on appearance and this is fun. You can turn your Beamer into your brand colors by just adding simple hex codes and you could do the same thing for your category colors. Then you can upload a logo and this shows up in your in the little pop-up for push notifications, which I am going to click on push so you can see what I mean. This little box will pop up if you have it allowed, it will pop up and ask people if they would like to receive updates with a push notification. If they say yes, that they do want to receive a push notification, what's so great is every time you put an announcement on your Beamer, they're going to get a notification on the website, like a little bubble is gonna pop up while they're surfing the web, wherever they are, and let them know that you have just posted something on your Beamer. If you have this toggled, like I do, to retry permissions prompt, that means that if they see the the prompt, if it pops up and they don't do anything, then you can actually tell Beamer to to try one more time. Now we're gonna look at API just to say that, so this is important when you are integrating Beamer with other applications like Zapier, which we're gonna look at in, in just a bit. Now let's look at embed. So this is where you're going to get the code to copy and paste onto your website. And you can put this on any website, Squarespace, New Kajabi, WordPress, really anywhere. And it's just a matter of clicking the code right here to copy it. Then you're gonna go over to your website and place it in the header of your website before the end of the body tag. And very clear directions here by Beamer. I am not a coder. I am actually not a website person, but I did this in about five minutes. It was very easy. Now let's look at integration. So this is where that API, API code comes in. You can use, you don't have to, but you can use Zap, Zapier to connect your Beamer to do all sorts of cool things. Zap, Zapier is a third party app that basically connects one piece of software with another to create automated actions. So for example, you could create a Twitter post every time you post a new post on Beamer or post it as a LinkedIn update or even create a new MailChimp campaign uh, from a Beamer post. The analytics are super easy to read. This is showing total views uh, of my Beamer and a lot of these are going to include like right here where it says an instant ago, these top rows. Those are me. Those are those are the ones that we just looked at in this demonstration. Uh, so really to get a better picture, you would want to click unique views and 
you can see that you can see what country they're coming from, what kind of operating system they're on, what browser they're on, how they came to you. Was it from the sidebar or from the standalone page? And of course, date and time, time and all that good stuff. And then we can click and see how many people click. We can look and see how many people signed up for push notifications and how many people actually clicked on the push notifications. If you click over here on feedback, this is where it will show you any feedback that anybody has left on any of your Beamer posts. And then the doc section is where you can find instructions for just about anything that you need. Let's look at the pricing. The big difference between the pro and the startup is that with the pro, you get the segmented notifications and you also get a custom domain. If you don't really care about either of those two things, the startup should be fine for you. The free version, you get unlimited posts and unlimited notifications, only one language, which is probably fine for most people, only one user, so you can't add a team member, very basic analytics, and you do have to keep the Beamer watermark. I would love to hear how you're using Beamer, if you like it, if you're currently using it, if you're not, how you're gonna use it. Hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, of course, just post them down below and I'll be sure to answer them right away.